Well, greetings and salutations. Welcome to part three of Little Misfortune, a perfect Halloween tale. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, so when we left off, we just came out of the store drained there on the street. Look, a missing kid. Missing, call 112. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, <laughs> Miss Fortune. I can protect you. <laughs> really? Jeez. Yes. All I can right, then. <laughs> Yeah, you she can chase the little bird. Oh, don't go. Hello. Oh, wow, look at that. <gasps> I thought Mr. Voice was going to say something. Ugh, smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. Bull crap. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Phantasmagoria. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't. Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I <laughs> didn't mean it like that. Oh, huh. rude. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. Nice. Slow down, you fuck. Miss Fortune. What? What? Language. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's exactly what a kid would say. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. What's up with the dead birds falling out of the sky? I mean, I wonder. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, uh, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. Mm. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Of course. Yeah, listen to this one. Balls hanging too low. 
No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. And you look on the park bench, there's... Anyway. Yeah, you see the one in the right corner? Get the drift. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish <laughs> you picked up earlier? You mean oh, Rodrigo? Yeah. My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. Hmm. Give him the fish? A drunk seagull? Yeah, I don't know if we should give a drunk seagull the fish. Oh, let's do it. I guess it's a good thing we decided to keep the fish. I hope this fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now! Of course! Seagulls love eating fish. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. Hilarious. I'll bury him later. Oh my god. <laughs> She's got dead, dead fish bones in her pocket. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Of course. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I horsey, stop it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I don't think we need to ride that again. Maybe she would break something. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for reals. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Yes, show, show your dance skills. Let the duck dance. No, 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 we'll let her dance. Of course, check this out. Well, he blew his cigarette smoke. It's okay, it's okay. That was Air unfortunate. What cigarette are you talking smoke. about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Oh, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Look how happy she is. My God, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> oh no, oh, Miss Fruit. Oh, you laugh at her. Man. A <laughs> face plant looks serious. Oh wow, it's another one of those Blair Witch dolls. Of course, let's pick that up. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smacks against the stone, let me guess. She's when the trees oh. are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. When the trees are naked, when the smell of rotten apples Oops. smashes Sorry about against that, guys. the stone. Mm, apple to hit. pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Somebody's got the munchies. 
looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Hide your children. Okay. Hey, this uh, alive. I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> in there? Okay. Oh, wow. So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? You know she has. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Mm, obviously not. No, but my unicorn is telling me that I should work on it. I bet everyone would love me if I was a unicorn. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh my god, what can this be? So funny, jeez. Wow, this is a legit pet cemetery. More missing children. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. Oh, dear I Lord. I have to dig in a grave? <laughs> dear Lord. Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must <laughs> I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No. Yikes Use forever. the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. <laughs> ah, that shovel. Okay. The demon shovel. Creepy. I mean, I'd be worried about a shovel, you know, popping up out of the ground. Come on. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and dig in. Ugh. Smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. <laughs> oh man. Just walking in a cemetery, okay, digging up people's it. pets. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> you know we're digging these all up. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! <laughs> yes, let's dig this up erotic novel. Ugh. Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. It says. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Ew, yikes forever. Yikes forever. Ah, uh, no 
surprise in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Ah, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Yes, let's dig it up. Ah, no prize in here. <laughs> no prize in here. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? Um, yeah, bury Rodrigo's bones. For fish, that's now just... I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> that was beautiful. Trophy aren't rotten fish. Nice. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yes. I think this is the goldfish. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Eternal happiness. Really? Is this the prize? But there's only oh, a no. note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your <laughs> eternal happiness. <laughs> Signed, Benjamin. Oh, no. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Oh, oh, and lo and behold. <gasps> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Yikes, forever. Come on, Benjamin. <laughs> Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Oh, I feel bad for him. But there's another one of those Blair Witch dolls. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. That's funny. Her running is hilarious. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, she's back out in the woods again. What is this? Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Oh, crazy, crazy, okay. Oh, and then it goes dark. Wow, 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 wow. She has a creepy stone now. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. <laughs> I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. 
And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just goes face first down there. Oh no. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Oh, well, no Mr. Voice. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all the candles. Fox repellent? That's 10 out of 10. Love it. Get it now. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Nice. Uh oh. What is this? Okay. Oh. oh, there you are. What on earth is he doing? What are you doing? Right. Benjamin? Yes, use fox repellent. I'm so sorry for this, Benjamin. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, where am I? What happened? You sprayed fox repellent on yourself and passed out. There was quite a lot of vomit, too. Ew, yikes forever. That didn't go as I planned. <laughs> we still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. That's crazy. She keeps vomiting glitter. That is hilarious. Is this what we got to, just in case? Nothing hiding off screen? Okay. My gosh, this is so funny. Let's see what's new. Hmm, open fields. Ladette. Open fields is on fire. Local artist. GM retires after incident. My son is missing a bird invasion. We didn't win, but we had fun. Let's see what's new. Okay. The zoo. Oh, the zoo. You know, with the animals. Nice. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my goodness. You know, and it's getting late out there. See the sun going down? Oh man. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Uh-oh. There. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. What? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Ah, oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, oh, the missing you look girl. Familiar. What?
putting these people with these masks on their face is crazy. That is just crazy. Ah, those people in the picture look so happy drinking <laughs> their juice. <laughs> drinking their juice? Yummy juice. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hacks strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no, dude, no. No, 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 no. I did not just hear that. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Oh man, I wonder if we just like go straight to the dark side. Let's just steal it. I don't know why. I'm gonna take it. It's for me. Oh no. Oh no. Open it. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, no. There's just a picture inside. Really? Can I see? It must be his kid. What do you think? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I knew it. I'm such a clever little lady. Oh no. Can't believe we just uh stole a wallet. Huh? One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was the raccoon. <laughs> Well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. That's tragic. That is so tragic. Oh. <laughs> nice. Some for the lady too. Okay. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that what the deal is? That's why people have these masks on. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while, though. Yes. That guy didn't get a happy face. Can we not give him back his wallet, though? I guess because he lost his wallet. He Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. <laughs> so mysterious. Hmm. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Alrighty, y'all. Before, well, let's go ahead and hit up this information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm <laughs> definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. We gotta explore this. Should I see Danny White? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. 
Let's go up here and check this out real quick. Oh, good thing we did. Hey, hello. Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's another information board. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Ah. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, let's grab a I'll sit. Papa squat. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You really? know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. My goodness, hilarious. But she hopped on the bus. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I and love if cows. And if any of you speak Japanese, man, can you leave a comment on that? I wonder what she said. <laughs> Moo Moo's. Yeah, that's oh. a little bull crap. Real for you, oh. little, little baby cow. <laughs> uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Great. Oh my god, that's so funny. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any oh, no. pizzas yet, so... That might not work. Oh, my I God. see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay. Let me think what I can do. Oh, my goodness, gravy. My goodness, gravy. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, my friends. We do. We got to take a pause for the cause right there. When we come back, we're going to create a diversion and somehow... Take a tour of the zoo. Until then, I will and I shall catch you on the other side. Peace.